What's good, everybody? Yes, you! Lucky Penny! Cuddly Teddy! Ugly Betty? Yucky Eddie! Hi, I'm Sweaty Melly. Unfortunately, it's just something that comes with the territory. We are full swing into the summer season, and there is nothing that scares me more. <laughs> But I can confidently say that through some pretty embarrassing and traumatizing life experiences, <laughs> I have become well equipped with some season saving beauty hacks, not just for hair, which we will get into. I'm going to show you how I achieved this super cute summer friendly hairstyle, which is actually a festival inspired look by Shay Mitchell. Hello. I also want to show you how I achieve my makeup look, this one specifically, which is both sweaty and oily girl friendly. And how to achieve that glowing skin that is summer ready. Okay, if that is at all interesting to you, then stick around and trust the process. I will warn you now that it is not pretty, but it's not about the journey, it's about the destination. So get ready with me. Our journey begins in the shower. So we may begin refreshing our hairs. Seriously, self-care starts in the shower. And I know this is gonna make a lot of dermatologists very uneasy, but I like it steamy, okay? I do like my water to be scorching. The girls that get it know what I mean. We'll just open this up to let it air out. <sighs> Heavenly. And I'll open this up to let it hair out. <laughs> Listen, after my wash day, steam is the number one refresh product that I need. So before I think that I need to do some restyling, we're gonna shake it out, let it start to absorb some of this moisture in the air and I need to start getting some moisture over here. Okay there, we're gonna get moisturizing. One of the best things I started doing for my body care, besides working out, been working out all 2023. Okay, yes, be proud of me. But for the past three years or so, I have been religiously moisturizing my body right after a shower. Like while my skin is still a little bit moist and it's probably been so easy for me because I am obsessed with my body creams. And I almost never say that you need things, but you at least need to smell this before it's too late because sadly this is limited edition at Sephora. And I think I might just pick up another one today when I go shopping. She is the new Real Radiance Body Cream. This thing is like body care meets jewelry. She has been my greatest accessory and I am so obsessed with the scent of her. This is the Real Radiance fragrance and it smells, honestly, when I first smelt it, oh, this is just a, this is delicious perfume. It's like summer luxury, honestly. No, but truly, I am obsessed with Sol de Janeiro. Hands down, they have some of the best smelling body care, but especially at Sephora. And if you've never smelled a sample when you go in there, genuinely, I feel bad for you. I'm trying to show you the glow, but I'm also trying not to have a nip show. Before, after, during, after. Hold on, let me just smooth like butter. Lightweight, actually. It's got moisturizing squalene, as well as carrot seed oil, and vitamin E, but what's gonna give my arm, my guns, psh, psh, any deodorant? This shine, this glare, is sustainably sourced and ethical mica. Mica are these little tiny pieces of glitter that you can't really see. She's shining, she's glowing, she's stunning, and I am rationing because she is limited edition. Anyways, I'm about to be late if I don't continue getting ready. To speed things up, is this what I should be wearing? Why is this almost a fit now? Okay, maybe it's not, maybe it's not. I am vibing with this for the fit. Actually, this is a little Amazon number. It's brown, but it's beachy. I feel like a chocolate bar. And I smell even better. <laughs> Huge thanks to my loves at Sol de Janeiro and the Sephora Squad for partnering with me on today's video. You can check out this limited edition cream at the link in the description box below. Now let's continue getting into this video, styling my hair, and answering your questions. I also wanna add huge, but this is not sticky. To me, there's nothing more icky than that in the summer. So now that I've made humidity my beach, we're gonna add more hydration with some water, and I'm gonna spray this around just my roots, okay? Anytime we are doing a slick back type of style on hair that has not been freshly washed, we don't wanna hit our ends. That would be the end, or the beginning. At that point, you might as well just wash your hair. And in that case, doing a slick back style is going to be easier, but we don't have that type of time. So we've worked in some water, okay? It is advised that we lubricate. I'm just taking a little bit of a leave-in conditioner. Specifically, this one has UV protection. The way that just shot out when I closed the lid, I really did need protection. Okay, here we go. It's not what you think. We're going to smooth this over 
the hair and then part your hair wherever. Or you can choose to just slick the hair all the way back, but we are gonna go in, here we go, here we go. I am trying to look as chic as Shay Mitchell, so we are doing the middle part and I'm gonna bring it, bring it all the way back, okay, just like that. You know, I always get compliments on how easily I part my hair and usually I just do it with my fingers, but if you're struggling with that, you need a, a comb with a tail on it and I just drag it across my scalp. By the way, these modifications are especially helpful for short hair, okay? We are gonna be taking our front sections. I need clips. Steve Irwin. Rock it off. Thank you so much. Okay, and now one side at a time. We're going to slick and slide. Just like this dress is sliding down. I don't know if this was a good idea. Anyways. Now the problem with this style, as I'm sure you can imagine, is it leaves a lot of room to be burned by the dragon. Outside that. The sun's scary. Definitely want to be careful when we are doing styles like this that expose our scalp. If we were spending time in the sun, it's not that you can't, we just can't be scant with our sunscreen, of course. I'll show you that hack in a tad, in a, in a tid. Why am I speaking in code? Oh, I feel like you get it. Anyways, now that we are here, okay, okay. We've got both of these sides. We've got the ends that we have not ruined. And we're going to take a hair tie and apply it just a little off base. We've got the hair tie here. Or we'll do one more wrap around. We've got a little space up in here. And we're going to do a little wrap around. If we keep those partings clean like I have, this isn't painful. Okay, and now I can pull it taut. <laughs> That's hot. That is really hot. Says Miss Paris Hilton. Now we can take a jumbo claw clip that will actually fit me. And BRB, I'm gonna do a little wrap around for you. I think I'll do a wrap around. This is how the back looks. I can clean up these edges. I mean, come on now, is that not a little life hack? If I didn't do this little two-step system, I would have one, lost the middle part completely. Two, you would have seen me struggling to get this claw clip in. And three, it would actually be a lot heavier on my head if all the hair was in one clip at the back. So this is a hack. Now, I told you I've got your back, so we're gonna put sunscreen on your crack. Where we have potted the sea, I am going to apply, as you can see, you can't see anything because I'm almost done this. Hold on. Paula's choice, she's youth extending. And here she, I feel it, I feel her. She is super easy for blending. I better not see you neglecting your scalp, okay? We're gonna reach all areas of our hairline and any skin that is showing, because not only is a sunburn painful and not pretty, but it is literally traumatizing. No! Hot, hot. This is just one way we can prevent scalp aging, which actually this sunscreen is very rich in antioxidants, so that also helps prevent scalp aging. Now, if we look closely, we can see that where my horns are hiding, the hair is, is already, I mean, it's, it's curling. It's going a little bit frizzy. I mean, it almost looks wavy. But one more time, we're gonna spray these, okay? And we'll take a little bit of gel. Re-smooth. And if you really want this to be cute, don't do that. Just use a couple bobby pins all the way back here to lock that in place. The hair is hiding the pins anyways. Now let's get into the face. I am actually so flattered that people think that my makeup looks good. Usually it only lasts me about five minutes in the summer. <laughs> it's hot in here. I'm trying to keep my cool, but I'm sweating. I have spanks on. My asshole is leaking. If you two are a victim to the milk mustache when you are wearing makeup, I may have the solution. But first we sunscreen. This is a wonderful makeup primer. That is a sunscreen. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Invisible UV Flawless Primer. She's SPF 50 and almost empty. Okay, now the key is to not allow yourself to start sweating. Okay, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm actually quite dry. Okay, and something that changed my life is prescription strength deodorant. Correction, not deodorant, but antiperspirant. I use this little roll-on thing that I put on at night. You're supposed to put it on before bed, and I swear the next day, I'm a changed woman. Especially if I'm traveling, I make sure I use my clinical strength deodorant before I hop on a plane. It just keeps me feeling dry and much more clean. But for my face, I have been trying this primer. It's the One Size Secure the Sweat Waterproof Face Primer. So far, it's been working out for me. I just take a small amount of it and apply it to my areas that are most sweaty. Now that we are protected and primed for makeup, I'm gonna let that dry. It's actually very cooling on the skin, which is pretty cool. 
before it is time to achieve the no makeup makeup look. But see, personally, I broke out, but also, in order for me to achieve that really glowy, stunning base, I like to underpaint. So right now, I'm taking a very bright color and highlighting. This is a Makeup Forever concealer and she is self-setting. Don't get it twisted, I still need powder because not only am I sweaty, but I am also oily. Yes, thank you, that's me, yes. Arrest me. If wearing makeup in the summer is a crime, then I am first in line. But especially since I am so genuinely terrified of the sun in a more than likely unhealthy way, depending on who you talk to, okay, I'm sure my dermatologist, if I actually went to one, would be very happy with me. Okay. Anyways, I need to mimic the look that I have been in the sun. So we're bronzing with this one. She's the Rare Beauty Bronzing Stick. This is a product I have repurchased. Not that anyone asked me, but Rare Beauty, she is that queen. And I know, I know, this is the part where I am looking very scary. Actually, I'm not done. I have told you the process is not pretty, but you have to trust me. We are going to do minimal blending, okay? We're just gonna work it into the skin without moving everything, okay? I want this sculpted area, this look, to stay. <laughs> this thing just rolled all over me. Okay, honestly, ever since I broke my wrist, circa six months ago or so, I don't really hold my makeup brushes like this anymore. My routine is forever modified. This is how I hold my brushes now. And now that I officially look like a clown, I'm going to take my foundation, which I broke, tragically, melt it into my hand, and then melt it onto my face, and hopefully not melt it all away later. <laughs> well, let me tell you, if it wasn't for TikTok beauty creators, I don't know where I would be with my makeup routine, but see how that is just like bronzed from underneath? I absolutely don't want to forget blending into the ears because they are very exposed. And I should not forget to blend my neck. Now I know what you're thinking, Mel, isn't that a lot of cream? For someone that is oily, just you wait. We're gonna do a little blushing. This color is called Sunkissed by Nude Sticks. And in the summer, it's always appropriate to put some of this on your nose. Nobody knows why, I'm kidding. It's because we're mimicking the way the sun may burn you if you don't wear sunscreen. That is why we are hitting the tops of our cheeks, even a little bit on the forehead, the nose, and the chin if it's crimson like me, which also has some very loud clicking ASMR. We're gonna do some setting, okay? This is where we will take our powder on a puff. You know, I'm not gonna say it changed my life, but it definitely changed the game because you can really just press this into your skin. Look what happens, I just powdered this side. This side is not the vibe, not the vibe, I lied. It's stunning, but it's not going to last me. Now we're gonna maxify the mattifying with On Till Dawn, also from one size. The setting spray is intense and is also great if he wants to take you swimming on the first date. I swear, this look will not go anywhere. Oh, I can't say the same for the hair. I also almost forgot my eyes. I mentioned that I was oily, but the oiliest part on my whole entire face has to be my eyelids. Yeah, so going crazy with eyeshadow, as fun as it is, is not even an option for me in the summer because it's just gonna look so disgustingly creasy in an hour, so I just choose not to embarrass myself. But a little hack, if anything, I usually just put a little bit of powder bronzer in my crease, but if I am feeling fancy, these liquid eyeshadows from Rare Beauty, they hold. I like, ah. Uh. So put just a little bit on my lid and we'll pack it in. And that way we get a little color without it moving. And if you really want to hack, this is also nice to use as a blush. Yeah, when I'm traveling, because it's so little, I'll just pack that and I'll put it on my eyes, my cheeks, even my lips. But it's probably not advised that you eat it. Me, however, okay, I think I look scrumptious. Might just be the chocolate vibes. One last thing, I hate this. I hate this mascara. Okay, this is the Rare Beauty Volumizing Mascara. The only reason why I hate it is because it's difficult to wash off at night, but otherwise it is volumizing and it's water, AKA sweat resistant, and also doesn't smudge on me throughout the day. So this is what I will put on, much to my later self's dismay, because yes, I will be struggling to remove this afterwards. And if I can just put in a request to Rare Beauty Head Office, can I get this in brown, please? Oh, fuck me. God damn it! 
I just hit my cheek. And that means um, I'm gonna have to rock a little, a little mole with me for the rest of this look. Does it suit me? What is the piercing that's here called? The one that's in your cheek? God, I, do you, how do you, why? It just looks so painful to me. And these are honestly going on a little bit clumpy because I need a new one of this. It's basically done. And so am I. We're just gonna quickly remove this little fleck with a flick of the wrist, okay? Use your spoolie, make sure she is clean. Make sure that is dry and just, fuck, I think it's still wet, but just flick it off or scrub it off. I, I didn't let it dry and it took my makeup off right there. But again, I'm actually probably not going anywhere now. <laughs> Upon filming all of this, I have burnt all of the daylight and now I'm gonna go film the intro to this with, I don't know, artificial lighting. Let me just grab all of them to make it look somewhat summery. I'm mostly just upset that I can't take any golden hour selfies. She's giving clean. She's giving girl. Squirrel. Actually, there is one last thing I'm missing. Accessories. Apparently, I don't know, have you noticed that a lot of celebrities are not wearing necklaces on the red carpets? I don't know what happened this awards season, but it appears that, oh my God, I flung that directly in the direction of the toilet. We are safe. Let me know if you think that this look absolutely slayed. If you have anything other than yes to say, then don't answer that, okay? But do let me know if you found any of these tips helpful today. I don't usually do little sit down, get ready with me, hair and makeup videos, but maybe we should do more of these. I don't know. And I'm not even sweating. This video is not sponsored by my clinical strength deodorant, but it was made in partnership with Sol de Janeiro and the Sephora Squad. So thank you so much again for working with me on this video. I'll warn you one last time, this is a limited edition cream and it's something that honestly, I can't stop smelling. The link is below and just before I go, I do wanna answer a very summer relevant question. And the question is of course pertaining to swimming on or off the first date, okay? Now let me tell you something. Being salty is not gonna get you anywhere. When I say that, I mean that salt water, even in a pool, we all think salt water is better for us, it's better for the skin. The salt can wreak absolute havoc on our hair. So if you have dry hair already, if it's color treated, the best way to protect your hair from swimming is to create a barrier on your hair. Now we can do this in two different ways. We could slather our hair in oil or we can use a swim cap, which may not be favorable. The other tip, if you're going to get it wet, wet your hair with regular water first. Look around for a shower, pour a bottle of water over your head. Wetting your hair with regular water first will help to avoid it from absorbing and getting really, really dry from pool water or ocean water. So I advise you rinse it down, then apply a leave-in conditioner and bonus to prevent tangling, put it in some braids and then swim on your way. Just make sure that you are properly cleansing after each trip to the beach. Okay, bitch. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to wear your sunscreen or I will find you, okay? This has been Yemaine Gromel and I'm out. Peace. My face looks a little um, orange compared to my chest. So I should probably go outside and get some sun. I mean, that's just another ugly truth about the summer. You can never find your perfect shade because it's constantly changing. Actually, I think it's just this lighting because I... I'm slaying and I'm not even sweating.